Hey guys, in this lesson we're going to look at medications that are used to treat mood disorders, namely antidepressants and sedatives. We'll focus particularly on the ones that affect serotonin levels in the body, like SSRIs or MAOIs, and the ones that work on the GABA system, like benzodiazepines. So first off, what is serotonin? Serotonin is a hormone and a neurotransmitter that's found in the body. It serves a bunch of purposes such as mood, memory, sleep, body temperature, sexual behavior, and hunger. Most of the serotonin in your body is created in your intestines with about 10% mean being made up in the brain. So a leading theory in mood disorders is linked to a lack of serotonin or its transporting enzymes. That's why most medications that treat depression affect that serotonergic system, either by inhibiting serotonin reuptake or by limiting its metabolism. Now before we get into some specific drugs and their pharmacokinetics, I want to touch on serotonin syndrome. I know it's weird to cover the overdose before the drugs, but in this case it actually makes more sense. Serotonin syndrome is a life-threatening condition caused when too much serotonin builds up in the body. It's commonly caused by overdoses with drugs that increase serotonin, like stimulants, or drugs that inhibit its reuptake and metabolism, like antidepressants. Symptoms can look really similar to a sympathomimetic overdose, but have a look for muscle clonus and ocular clonus. That's this slow, horizontal eye movements. The Hunter criteria is used to diagnose serotonin syndrome, which is one of the following in a patient who has taken a serotonin-affecting drug. Spontaneous clonus, inductible clonus plus agitation and diaphoresis, ocular clonus plus agitation or diaphoresis, tremors plus hyperreflexia, or hypertonia plus temperature above 38 degrees plus your ocular clonus and inductible clonus. So like I said, these can look a lot like sympathomimetic overdoses and actually experts say be careful trying to diagnose serotonin syndrome when there's stimulants on board. Luckily the treatment is similar. Benzos to keep them calm and temperature control. Cyproheptadine as a serotonin receptor antagonist can be given as an antidote if the benzodiazepines can't calm the patient down. But initially in hospital, we'll treat both serotonin syndrome and just a stimulant overdose exactly the same, with benzodiazepines and managing temperature control. Then we'll get blood work to know exactly what's going on and develop a treatment plan. All right, so first up, tricyclics. These are old school antidepressants, and while they were really popular, you don't see them as much anymore. These guys work by blocking serotonin and dopamine reuptake into the synapse so they increase their effect on mood. They have a pretty narrow therapeutic index, and in an overdose, they can have some nasty sodium channel blocking effects. So you can expect prolonged QT intervals, wide complex tachycardias leading to VT or VF. Also expect some pretty bad metabolic acidosis, anticholinergic effects, and possible seizures. Treatment is gonna be sodium bicarb to alkalize the urine and to fix metabolic acidosis. ASA overdoses actually present in a really similar way and have a similar treatment. Next up is monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs. These drugs work by inhibiting monoamine oxidase, obviously, which is an enzyme that helps metabolize neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepi. While these drugs can be effective in treating depression, they also have a pretty tight therapeutic index with a toxic dose of 2 mg per kilogram. Axel, accidental overdoses can be common when on MAOIs since they are synergistic with other antidepressants that affect a serotonin like TCAs and SSRIs. Last point, MAOIs can inhibit the breakdown of tyramine, which is an amino acid that helps regulate blood pressure. So eating foods that are high in tyramine, and there are a lot of them, while on MAOIs can lead to severe swings in blood pressure, and in some cases a lethal hypertensive crisis. Moving on, we have selective and non-selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. That's SSRIs and NSRIs. These are the most commonly prescribed types of uh, antidepressants, with SSRIs affecting serotonin reuptake and NSRIs also affecting norepinephrine reuptake. Typically, an overdose with these medications can lead to mild symptoms like agitation, tremors, tachycardia, and slight dysrhythmias. But when combining multiple SSRIs or with another serotonergic agent, they can be life-threatening and lead to serotonin syndrome. 